Um, I learned that you can start knowing absolutely nothing and go <laughs> on to have a career. I'd never taken Latin in high school. I'd never taken an education course. I knew very little about the ancient world. Uh, was very language focused, as was you know sort of typical of a lot of training then. And I learned that if you liked it and were excited about it, you could learn and grow. So um, I guess I learned that I love teaching and teaching Latin at in that position. How did that job come about? Um, I applied and got it. I'd gone to grad school for one year um, and didn't particularly like it and only had half time funding, which I didn't like. <laughs> and I applied for the job, got it and stayed for five years. And then I decided I wanted to learn more. So I went back uh, to a PhD program. Right. At Ohio State beginning. In But with the very little kids, I started out, so I taught for 14 years um, in the same school where I started my Latin. Um, so I was not the, um, I didn't replace my Latin teacher, but I was the uh, teacher after the teacher who replaced him. Okay. Um, and actually, I'd like to mention my Latin teacher's name, if that's yeah. okay. I learned from um, Robert Creighton, um, and he was the, the initial teacher at the school. And so, um, you know, I always felt um, the gravity of stepping into his shoes, even though I didn't directly step into his shoes. Um, so with the little guys, uh, starting in kindergarten, we would study the Greek gods and the Greek myths, and we would spend time on all the types of things that you would teach little kids in a spoken language, animals and colors and food and things like that. Um, I'd give them Latin names, which I made a very big deal out of, and um, it was, you know, Really, Karen Green, who was a professor at the University of Iowa, and I uh, were, were friends. And one of the th things that she constantly sort of lamented when she was uh, CPL chair at uh, for Camus was the fact that there was no journal that was devoted to research. Well. I, I'm maybe overstating this. She wanted to see journals that were more research based in classics in terms of what we do as teachers. And so uh, we had talked about it for a couple of years. And uh, for a brief moment, uh, they were putting uh, classical journal articles online and calling it CPL online. Mm -hmm. And that just lasted. Uh, for a for a brief moment, and it was basically taking. So uh, you know, I, it it was a joint project between Actful and uh, ACL. Um, during that time, Marty Abbott was um, the executive director of Actful, and of course, a strong advocate for um, for classics in the modern language uh, profession. Um, like me, she also had taught Spanish for a while, and mm -hmm. so she saw the value of using modern language pedagogy in curriculum design in the way that we approach the teaching of classics. So um, one of the things that I think we all agreed in that time was that in order for classics to be taken seriously or to have a space at the table, we needed to have our own kind of assessment that matched up to the sorts of assessments that they do for um...